Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I am going to be using the gel press with some foam stamps to create texture um, on some of the backgrounds. Now if you've been following along we've been working our way using this double-sided origami paper I have and I'm building up layers. So this is just another way that you can add layers to making when you're making collage papers. So I have my gel press here and I'm going to use some purple and blue. Um, this is the Liquitex, Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. And I'm going to put a couple of blobs down of the purple. And then up the blue. And I'm going to use my brayer to sort of blend them and smooth out the paint. Now I'm using a large gel press plate here, um, but it gives me options. You can use any size you want. And again, I'm going to be using origami paper, but uh, you can use like newsprint, you can use cardstock, you can use printer paper, doesn't matter. So these stamps are from Art Foamies. They have a lot of really great foam stamps. And I like to use foam stamps for this because um, they have a larger area, like stamp area versus the thin lines of a lot of rubber stamps. So you can see I've got paint on there. So I just put a couple of pieces here because it's a big stamp. And I'm going to just stamp it down because you don't want to waste any of that paint. So there you go. I've added that texture. I'm going to move those aside. Actually here I might stamp again. I'll stamp a couple of times just to get a lot of the paint off. Because on these papers, my goal is just to have a bunch of different colors happening. And so if I was to cut it up and use it for something, there's a lot in that area. So after I'm done the video, I'll actually go and just uh, wash this off so the paint doesn't completely dry on it. But I have the one I'm going to stamp a doily pattern because I'm using up the whole. So again, I'm going to stamp that on there. And I've got a couple other doily patterns here. So you can see like the numbers there, but you might not be able to see some of the other designs, but we'll see them later when we pull it. And I'm just gonna stamp that off. I'm gonna stamp this again here. And I've got one more. Going to stamp there, find a piece of paper. And I think I got a bit more area down here. I'm just looking for a paper that's not purple so you can, when I stamp it on, you can see it. Okay, so now that I have some texture throughout here, I'm going to get a sheet actually that doesn't have much going on yet. So I have this sheet here. It doesn't have any paint on it yet. And now you can see like, the numbers from the stamps, some of the doilies and that. Because it's the first one, it gets a little curly. This sheet has a bit of stamping on it, but it'll be fine. Okay, 
can. You can see some of the texture in there. corner there's a cool texture there and because we're getting it's not so coverage I'm going to pull in some of my other sheets I have so like this one here it's quite light so the purple see what we pick up with the blue and purple Picked up a bit of blue and purple there, so that looks cool adding on to the layers. Let's see what else we've got going on. So here is the sheet here. So there it only picked up a little bit. So the paint is drying and I would have to put a layer of white to activate it. So I might just, there I picked up a little bit more and just seeing what I can get. But that gives you some idea. Let me pull out some of these earlier ones with, if you uh, put it, put the paint on your gel plate and then stamp, especially with the foam uh, stamps, as I said, cause they have a thicker area. You can get interesting texture as well as the color when you do your prints. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple of the videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.